Hi, my name is Ivan. Welcome to the Galen Framework video tutorials. In this video, I would like to show you how to write Galen tests using JavaScript. In the previous videos, we were using the uh, Galen standard test with uh, executor. And uh, here's what we got so far. As you can see, we have a simple test that executes some JavaScript. And actually, in the last video, I was showing you how to use the Galen pages, the functional testing framework in JavaScript. Um, this time, we are going to reuse the JavaScript for logging in to the test website. But instead of my.test file, we are going to create a my.test.js file. And we will rewrite all of this in JavaScript. So, first of all, uh, how to get started with JavaScript tests? Uh, just go to the Galen Framework uh, documentation, to the docs, and here you'll find a JavaScript test guide. And this is the only page you need, so basically in this page everything is explained. How to create a test, how to parameterize the test, how to create a driver, and so on. So we have already uh, some specs prepared, minus.gspec, and um, we have go to login.js, and what else? And log to my notes, GS files. Now let's create a my.test.js. So I'm going to declare a test. Um, my notes page. In this test, I'm going to create a driver. Next thing, I need to uh, use the pages that I have prepared in the previous video. So let's move them maybe into a separate file. Um, to my notes. So we can take all of these welcome page, login page into a separate file. Let's create a mypages.js. I'm gonna take all of these definitions and put them here. So in this file, in mypages.js, we will have all the pages declared, like welcome page and login page. For now, that's all we, that we need. And uh, in the my.test.js file, we're going to use that uh, script by using a load function. mypages.js So, what are we going to do? We are going to use a um, welcome page. We will click the login button. And then we will instantiate a login page. Login page will uh, log in as a sample test user. Let's just copy this email address. And username. Type text. Password. Then we'll use a check layout function to which we'll going pass our driver instance, the path to uh, our spec file, 
mineouts.gspec and then we will say which uh, tag we're going to use. In this case, it's going to be desktop. So let's try to run it. Game on the test my test.gs. Okay, it's passed, but the browser is still there and it's not killed. What we forgot to do is we forgot to quit the driver. Because in JavaScript, in ja because in JavaScript tests, you have to uh, take care of driver instance all by yourself. You have to create it, you have to uh, check the layout, and then you have to quit the driver. So this is what we are going to do. So the test has passed and the, the browser is killed. But there's some, there are some issues with this approach. The thing is that if something goes wrong here in this part and it, and it throws an exception, then the test will be interrupted and then the driver will not quit. So the browser will still hang there. So let's just simulate this uh, situation by typing something weird. So here we go, we have an exception and the browser is still there. So let's try to write a proper setup in which we will take care of driver separately from the test. And the way to do it is by using the uh, test events. The events are called, I think, like after test and before test. Here we go, events, before test. So what we could do in a before test event, we could instantiate a driver and save it in some session. And in after test, we would take it from a session and just kill it, just, just quit. And here's how we can use a test, how we can use a test session. The session and put some object in it. And let's do it like that. Session get driver. And again, let's write. Let's take a look at the reports. And here we go. We click the login button, we logged in, and then we have this error because this function does not exist in the login page. So let's take a look what else could we improve. So for instance, what we could try to do is we could try to write a simple test that will be parametrized. What that would mean is that when we want to check the layout of the welcome page, we want to check it in a mobile layout and a desktop layout, so the test should run twice for two different uh, uh, browser sizes. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, first of all, we will check homepage gspec. So it is there. And it is written for different layouts, for desktop and for mobile. So 
here's what we can do. We can uh, declare our devices object, which will have a mobile device, which will have a device name, mobile attack, mobile, or we can declare it like that, like tags. An array if you want for instance to include something like iPhone or Samsung or whatever it doesn't matter let's, let's make it like this and the size and the same for the desktop Parameterize the test by using the for all devices. And then declare a test inside. On page on. This is the inter interesting trick. Device name. What's gonna happen in this case? Galen will take this string and will try to process it, uh, and will try to place instead of this, it will try to place a desktop and mobile each for each uh, different device. We'll uh, put a value of device name. This is actually nice because this way we can uh, get the, the the parameters in the test name, um, and this is just really simple. Now let's take the driver from the session. Okay, we can put here a device. Basically, this argument will be passed uh, from the for all uh, function, and each time it will contain a, a device from the specific iteration. enough for the simplest, simplest test. Let's try to run it. And let's filter out only the test that we want to run. It's the home page or just home. So as you can see, it works. This in this test, we check the desktop layout, and here's the name homepage on the desktop. As you can see, the value from device name uh, was passed to the test name, and here's the homepage on mobile. That was it. These were the basics of the JavaScript test. I hope you liked it and I hope it was clear. Thanks for watching.